continue. We are creating digital voices or virtual voices. Uh, other words for it as converting text to speech. But the main focus of what you're doing is to make sure that the artificial speech we are creating has emotions and has the whole range of expression that the human speech has, which is something that is, has not yet been realized in, in existing technologies. This project was very unique to us. First of all, it's the first time that the technology speaks Hebrew, which is very exciting for uh, VivoText. We had to use legacy recording instead of the regular process in which we record in the studio with the unique instruction that we give to the, to the narrator. We received materials from different points in time and with different acoustics, and we had to decide which recordings to use. So we decided to use the recordings from the last years in order for the virtual speech to sound like Paris present in the event. The vision of tomorrow, not simply on remembering the past. Our vision for our technology is quite simple. We believe that artificial voices or virtual voices should be a very important tool for people to use when they try to reach other people, whether in a personalized way or in a general way. And in that respect, it's extremely important that the voice would actually be capable of expression. AugMind was founded by a team of specialists in film, game and 3D visualization. As you'll see from the work that we've done with Perez, we were able to create technology that allowed us to create fully immersive and fully believable content in an efficient way that was previously unheard of. Um, our uniqueness as a company really stems from our technical abilities to approach the problems in the entertainment industry. In the production of the Paris hologram, we've used traditional 3D animations. However, we've incorporated artificial intelligence to help our artists. What was important for us is to provide the artist with a wide analysis of all the details in Paris's features, behavior and automation. We basically had no room to make any mistakes and we had to get it right the first take, all while keeping very close attention to the actual presentation of Paris to keep it as realistic as possible. Working with the voice of Shimon Peres was very exciting for me, first of all as an Israeli. Shimon Peres is one of the founding fathers of Israel and as a leader he always promoted innovation. And to hear his uh, stories during the walk was very interesting and exciting. And now the voice of peace of innovation of Shimon Peres can live forever. It was a real privilege to revive Peres and to continue his vision and legacy. I remember you to people who don't have fantasy. Lo sim, do rim, fantastim.